Hi there, Synchro Lovers! Welcome back to Synchro Secrets, the go-to place for all things artistic swimming. My name is Agata Andrzejowska and today I wanted to talk about things that all Synchro Swimmers struggle with, which is their mental blocks and some tips on how to overcome them. But before we start, I wanted to remind you to hit that subscribe button so you never miss another video and so others can also discover my channel. In the world of artistic swimming, mental blocks are a common challenge faced by athletes. The intricate and precise nature of the sport is not only physically demanding, but also requires mental resilience. Athletes often find themselves grappling with mental blocks, which can manifest as a sudden inability to perform routine elements despite countless hours of practice. The pressure to synchronize movements with teammates, execute flawless choreography and maintain perfect timing adds a layer of complexity to the sport. The combination of underwater elements, breath control and the need for seamless coordination can lead to heightened anxiety and self-doubt. In this video, I will share four different mental blocks that synchro swimmers struggle with. In the comment section down below, make sure that you comment if you struggle with any of those mental blocks or maybe there are different ones that I didn't mention yet. Let me know. Since artistic swimming has become much faster and more demanding, some movements can spark fear in the athletes. And I'm talking here mostly about acrobatic movements. Acrobatic movement is a general term for jumps, throws, lifts, stacks, platforms and others, which is an integral part of artistic swimming routines that demonstrates spectacular gymnastic feats and or risky actions in the air on balancing support or in combination are achieved with the assistance of the other swimmers. Usually four or more athletes have to be involved in the acrobatic movements in team, combo or acro routines. As you can imagine, those movements are quite risky and require a tremendous amount of bravery and skill. I am actually not surprised that a lot of athletes are scared and terrified of performing those kind of movements. And I heard a lot of stories of athletes ending up with concussion, broken nose or broken ribs while performing the acrobatic movements. When it comes to fear of acrobatic movements, there is one tip I can share with you make sure that you practice them on land first. So no matter what kind of acrobatic movements you are planning to do, make sure that all your athletes know what to do, they know where to hold, they know what count they have to push at, and they know the positioning in the acrobatic movement. On land first, and at the same it comes to flyers, so the athletes that are on top of the lifts, they have to know what kind of positions they have to do. They have to be familiar with the movement, in the air and they have to feel confident and they have to feel safe while doing it so again practice it on land another quite common fear in artistic swimming is performing the routines and swimming very close to each other and most athletes are just scared of getting hit or kicked this fear results in keeping their distance from their teammates and in result it messes up their routine messes up the pattern of the routine. One way of working on this problem is firstly to elevate your athlete's synchronization because if the athletes are going at exact the same time there is no risk of hitting each other but if one athlete is slightly late then the accidents happen. And the second part is to put one leg in front of the other when you do egg beater and this way you can shift your position so you can give more space to the other athletes. The leg that is in front should be the same for each athlete so you know they don't like crush into each other and then they can actually have more space. I feel like this mental block became even more evident and apparent after the change of the rules. Since the athletes are getting penalized by base mark when messing up the routine and the hybrid, the fear of letting others down might become quite overwhelming. Base mark is the value that the hybrid will go to if not successful in achieving the declared difficulty. It also applies to acrobatic moves. Base mark value is 0.5. Knowing that, I can see how the athletes can be scared to mess up the hybrid in the routine. This anxiety might manifest in many ways and it is crucial to get the hints and recognize when it happens. Common signs include Increased heart rate, rapid breathing, trembling, sweating, nausea, and a sense of dread or fear. Behavioral signs might include problems in concentration during training or 
avoidance of performance, which means not wanting to go out and showcase their routine in front of the judges. Additionally, negative self-talk and excessive worry about potential failure are the psychological indicators. It's essential to be aware of these signs to implement coping strategies such as deep breathing, positive visualization and mindfulness techniques. If performance anxiety persists and significantly impacts the athlete's performance, seeking professional support such as counseling or therapy might be beneficial. The common challenge of dealing with mistakes in synchronized swimming is a topic that resonates with athletes and coaches alike. In the synchronized swimming world, precision is of most importance and mistakes can cost athletes a spot on a podium if they get a base mark. One significant challenge lies in mental resilience to navigate those mistakes and errors effectively. Athletes of Often face the pressure to maintain a flawless performance and when mistakes occur this can have a detrimental effect on their confidence and focus. Handling mistakes in artistic swimming requires the athlete to restrain from negative thoughts and from like dwelling into their mistakes they have to just forget about them and focus on their performance. Coaches play a crucial role for their athletes to understand that making mistakes is a learning process and not a failure. Effective communication within the team is crucial for overcoming this challenge. The team and the coaches should support each other and should like maintain a positive outcome on mistakes. They should view them as learning process and not as something fatal. So if everyone is thinking that when you make a mistake, you actually grow, and you can do better next time, this will help the athletes to be more confident and to maintain this motivation as well. The tendency to compare oneself with teammates or competitors occurs in all sports. In artistic swimming, because it is a very precise and perfection required sport, this can get out of hand and the athletes can actually negatively affect their performance by comparing their skills to other athletes. One visible point in this tendency involves the athletes to compare their skills and execution. Comparisons can extend beyond the technical aspects to include subjective factors such as body image and presentation. Athletes often think of certain aesthetics when they picture a perfect artistic swimmer. The desire to conform to perceived standards can lead to self-comparisons. This can impact self-esteem and body confidence, creating a challenging dynamic within the team. It is a natural tendency for the athletes to compare oneself with their teammates or with their competitors. And this can be a good thing because it can spark the determination and the athletes can get more motivated to work harder. But this can also go to the other side when the athletes see that they are way weaker than the others and this can make them even less motivated. This can make them feel that they are not worthy or they are worse than the others. This way of thinking is fostering self-doubt and can lead to high levels of anxiety. And here the coaches play a crucial role in shaping the narrative around comparisons, encouraging a supportive and a collaborative team spirit helps the athletes understand that actually all of them bring something to the team. In my teams, I like to build a sense of belonging for everyone and I will always let my athletes know that they all bring something to the team and because of that, the team is stronger. But also I reminded them that they all have to work hard because if one of them is not working, the team is suffering. So it is a teamwork and the teamwork makes a dream work. But also setting individual and team goals and celebrating team progress or individual progress will help the athletes to stay motivated and they will be happy to participate in your training and to be in your team. And there you have it, Synchro Lovers, four different mental blocks that artistic swimmers can struggle with. Now, don't forget to type in the comment section if you struggle with any of them and if yes, in which one. I'm here to help you, so let's solve this all together. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you give a thumb up and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Bye!